Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my kingdom of stagey isolation. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre, if, if that was not already clear. Today, I want to talk about the Hope Mill Theatre revival of Rent, which is currently available to stream online for UK audiences until the 20th of December. So this is a production that was meant to be happening this year at the Hope Mill, it played about five performances in person before the news came that the country was going back into lockdown. The run would have to be cut abruptly short, but geniusly, they filmed the last performance that they got to do. And you can now buy a ticket for the online streamed version where they will distribute that recording. And it's fantastic. I got to watch it already and I have written a review that will be on my blog if you go and check that out at mickeyjoetheatre.co.uk I'm a huge fan of Rent and I've seen various productions of Rent. I've seen productions that I've loved, I've seen productions that I've hated and I have a lot of thoughts about this production if you want to go and see what I thought about how effective some of their techniques were, what I thought about the different portrayals, all of that go and check it out on my blog. In this video today, I wanna to talk more about why, whatever you think of this production, you should definitely go and watch it. It is definitely worth the money you will pay for a ticket, and I am going to tell you why in 525,600 reasons. I lied, not that many, there's like 10, maybe 10. 10 reasons why you should watch Rent from the Hope Mill Theatre. 10 reasons why you should go stream Rent from the Hope Mill. Reason number one is that Rent is a really important piece of musical theatre history. It was one of the most beloved cult musicals of all time among theatre fans. When it was released in the 90s, it changed the game for musical theatre to a certain extent. Nothing had really engaged young audiences in the way that Rent did until it happened. Shows now like Hamilton, like Spring Awakening, like Beetlejuice are all having that success because Rent really broke the mould uh, for breaking through to a new generation of theatre goer. The reason we have ticket lotteries is because of the show Rent, because young people were so desperate to get day seats they were camping outside in New York winter and the producers were like, no, that is crazy. So Rent has changed the landscape of musical theatre hugely. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out on a huge part of musical theatre history. And while the movie is a really great introduction of this and you get to see much of the original cast, there is really no alternative to the stage show. Some of the finer detailed plot points in the stage show have been removed from the movie. It's been maybe made a little cleaner, a little more family friendly, a little more Hollywood. If you want the gritty, uncensored original version of Rent that was Jonathan Larson's vision, you have to see the stage show. And Rent is best done by a young cast with energy who really love what they are doing and believe in what they're doing and have formed a community. And the fact that this cast bubbled in a house of 12, you really get that coming through in this version. Reason number two is because I think it's important to support all of these venues. The Hope Mill is a very small independent theatre in Manchester that even at their full capacity it cannot sell that many tickets. And so reduced to 50% capacity to have kept going shows so much determination, so much willpower. I think it's really inspiring thing for them to have done that and to then have that cut short again must have been so brutal for them. They just keep adapting, they keep trying to overcome, they keep trying to power on and keep their doors open. If we can help them to do that and stream an amazing piece of online theatre at the same time, it's a win-win for everyone involved. Reason number three is the casting of this particular production of Rent is genius. When the cast announcement came out for this, I saw just universal praise across social media because of the diversity of the casting. It was just amazing to see so many different performers, to see new up and coming performers against well-loved performers, against understudies who've been paying their dues. You have performers who've been going from strength to strength in the industry alongside graduates in leading roles. It's amazing casting that I really could not fault whatsoever. Bringing me to reason number four, which is the queer representation in this version of Rent. Rent has always been beloved by the LGBT community for its portrayal of queer romances and queer characters, unashamedly. It's given us the iconic lesbian duet, Take Me or Leave Me. And this version of Rent is giving you queer characters played by queer performers, as well as queer characters in other roles that weren't previously queer, as well as a lot more queer performers in the cast than other productions of Rent have had. It's giving you casting that transcends gender and shows how meaningless it is. Casting beyond the gender spectrum I think is one of the most exciting things happening right now in theatre and something we only need more of. So well done to this production of Rent. If there's one show that doesn't need to be homogenized and binary in its portrayal of gender, it's Rent. Let's be honest. I think this kind of casting approach to Rent is a long time coming honestly. I don't know why we haven't had it sooner. Reason number five 
is if you're a fan of any of these performers, if you're a Be More Chill fan on my channel, and you're a fan of Blake, who played Michael in the London production, or Millie, who was in the London production and played Chloe, they are both in this production as well. Essentially, if you are a stan of any West End show going at the moment, you will know one of these performers. You've got Maya from the original West End cast of Six, who is playing Mimi. You've got Jocasta, who was in Anne Juliet, is playing Joanne. You've got Alex Thomas-Smith, who was in Bat Out of Hell, and then Dear Evan Hansen, they're playing Angel. So many of your musical theatre faves are in this production, and they're playing dream roles that many of them have wanted to play for a really long time. I remember doing the Be More Chill interviews, and Millie was talking to me about Rent and how much she loved this show. So for them to get to play these roles in a production is so exciting for them. If you're a fan of theirs, they're giving amazing performances because their love for the show is really coming out in everything they're doing. Reason number six, their love for the show is also coming out in great vocal choices. Oh my gosh. The vocal choices made in this production of Rent are outstanding. Some specific moments I want to highlight. Pay attention to Kayla Carter's solo in Seasons of Love at the start of the second act. She is a graduate in 2020 of this year, which is insane because the talent level is phenomenal. Millie is making some bold vocal choices that pay off as Maureen. Blake is making great vocal choices throughout as Mark. The fluidity of his riffs is just gorgeous and so perfectly in character. Tom Francis as Roger is making stellar vocal choices throughout. He sounds uncannily like Adam Pascal, but brings a completely new intensity to his characterization of Roger as well. He is reason number six that you should watch this production because it's one of the best performances I've seen in a very long time. I'm so sad I couldn't see this performance live because I'm sure it would have been even more powerful. Many times I will go and see Rent and not really connect with Roger as a character. Let's be honest, he's whiny. He's not the easiest character to get behind. Some of the choices he makes are very frustrating. He's not the most interesting character. Roger in this production just soars above the rest for me because Tom Francis, who again is a 2020 graduate, gives an incredible performance. He's gonna be a huge star and you're gonna to want to be able to say, I saw him in Rent back when it all started. Reason number eight that you should, eight? that you should go and see Rent. I never normally see a production of Rent and come away raving about the choreography, but there are some great choreographic moments in this production. The way they stage Tango Maureen is genius. The way they stage La Vie Bohème is just infectious and fun. Alex Thomas Smith doing Today For You, Tomorrow For Me. Pirouetting mid vocal line. It's one thing to like pirouette between your lines, but pirouetting while singing. That's just, that's some alien stuff going on right there. That's not human. Who does that? I can't do that. I can't pirouette when I'm not singing. Double pirouetting while sustaining a vocal. Like, how do you breathe? When do you breathe? What's the plan? I don't understand it, but mesmerizing to watch. Reason number nine, if you're into the music of Rent and the score of Rent and have listened to the movie or a cast recording or Glee covers, ugh, then you are not going to really have been able to appreciate the full score of Rent. There are so many musical moments that were cut from the film that you get to see in a full production of the show. One of my favorite moments in the show Rent is in the life support scene when one of the ensemble characters, Gordon, sings a vocal line that goes, look I find some of what you teach suspect because I'm used to relying on intellect but I try to open up to what I don't know because reason says I should have died three years ago. If you know Rent, you know that moment. It's a lovely moment in this show that has a lot of time to talk about AIDS and characters living with AIDS. And the musical transition to that in the show is so much better than the one in the film. In the film, it just sort of comes out of talking and silence. The way that they transition into it in the show is fantastic. Also, some of the cut songs that only appear in the show that don't appear in the film. Songs like Contact, songs like Goodbye Love, songs like Halloween. If you have not seen the full show version of Rent as opposed to the movie, you will not have really appreciated the score for what it is. And the last thing I wanna highlight from this recording is just its sheer technical amazingness. The cinematography of this is stunning, it's gorgeous. I know they filmed one performance live and then I think they did other close-up moments when they didn't have an audience in, but the way it's been captured and the way they've created such a beautiful product with so little time to throw it all together is mind-blowing to me. Like, this is a clearer recording of Rent than the 2008 Live on Broadway one. This is a, I think this is higher definition than the movie, honestly. This is the best looking production of Rent I think you could watch out of any of the ones that are available that have been professionally recorded. If you're into cinematography and filmmaking, I would suggest watching this. It's a really interesting study in how to capture a live musical and sort of make people feel as though they're experiencing it live, even though they're watching through their own homes. 
a lot of times streamed theatre is harder to connect with. There is not that problem at all. This is completely immersive. You're completely with it. You completely feel the emotions of these characters and it's because of the cinematography and the amazing quality of this product. Sound editing is great. The video is great. I cannot fault this technically. I had no technical issues when I was watching it either. I know it probably pays to be prepared and make sure that your Wi-Fi can handle it and make sure that your setup is all fine and buffered and everything. But I have nothing but good things to say about the quality of this streamed production. If you have already seen Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and what other reasons you could give for people to watch this production. If you'd like to see my full review, head over to my blog at mickeyjoetheatre.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my stagey YouTube channel where I will be reviewing more online theatre, hopefully some in-person theatre, and everything in between. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. A stagey no day, but today. A stagey today for you, tomorrow for me? I'll think of something, leave it with me. No stagey day, but today. That's it. No stagey day, but today. No stagey day, but today. Okay, it doesn't really scan, but you get the idea. Roll credits, I'm out of this, I can't anymore. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>